while keeping the other leg in the bear plank. Then back to bear plank and then down. So lift and then your right, bear plank and down. Alternating left and right 10 times. Are you suffering from back spasm due to weakness on your quadriceps, knees, and it causes difficulty performing your sports activities such as volleyball or basketball? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. And in this video, we'll be targeting our core muscles with a lot of isometrics and hold to help support your back. If you are in a very high impact sports activities and it causes a lot of back pain spasm due to weak core and quadriceps so get your mat ready and join me Okay, my friends, let's discuss a little bit anatomy. Why our quadriceps are so important for any sports activities? If you're weak here and you don't have a lot of static hold or eccentric control as well, when you lengthen your quads, it strains your back. So in this video, we're targeting a lot of strengthening your quadriceps, lengthening it and strengthening it so you won't strain your low back muscles. So we're gonna start our hands and knees first and we're gonna do a gentle progression for our plank exercises so this is demonstration only and if you want to do a follow along video let me know in the description below and leave a comment okay my friends with your hands level with your shoulders knees level with your hips grab the mat with your toes slowly we're gonna do a gentle bare plank to warm up first so as you lift your knees off the mat you might find yourself shaking on your core already and your quadriceps so you take a deep breath pull your belly button in five four three two one and down that's a nice warm-up already lift if you're having a back spasm right now stop my recommendation is to do my other videos for sciatica or gentle lumbar stenosis videos you can check out the link with my info card to warm up first for doing this inhale lift five four three two one and down and my recommendation is do this 10 times inhale lift five four three two one and after bear plank the next progression is bear plank with hip extension and knee so we're tapping the mat down while keeping the other leg in the bear plank. Then back to bear plank and then down. So lift and then your right, bear plank and down. Alternating left and right 10 times. Okay, my friends, so that's the second exercise. The next progression is bear plank. And now slowly tap to the side out of the mat and then down lift left right and down and if your wrists are tired you can always go down to a child pose to rest with your breathing and hold that for 30 seconds hold at least three repetitions before progressing if you're having shoulder and wrist pain already okay my friends the next progression is bare plank extend both and then tap up and down from forward hand so tap and up with your breathing 10 times as well okay my friends now we're going to progress furthermore so this is the fifth progression forward plank and from forward plank alternating with your knee straight left and right keeping your hips leveled with your shoulder alternating that for 10 times as well and the seven progression plank alternating reach and do that 10 times as well okay my friends let's take a break from the plank position and my next recommendation is kneeling exercises 
to lengthen your quadriceps muscles. So with your hands forward, gently lean back, pulling your belly button in, and you feel that lengthening as you pass your hips near the heels area. So if you're just sitting down, that's a great way for beginners. Just up and down 10 times, but to progress and really target lengthening your quads. And this will help your kneeling exercises or when you jump and then you need to grab the volleyball in a very stoop forward posture. This will help lengthen. Hands forward and slowly lean back past and feel your quads shaking and back. And my recommendation is do that 10 times as well. And then progress with your arms open and then reach back to target your right more as if you turn your body to the right. And then when you turn your body to the left, lean, do that 10 times as well. Then reach forward up to the ceiling and do a gentle camel pose, reaching your heels and looking up to stretch your back muscles and lengthen your quads more and hold that for 30 seconds with your breathing and to get up place your hands on your hips to protect your back and slowly get up so those are the kneeling exercises you can do okay my friends now we're going to do the sideline on your elbow with your knees bent for beginners making sure your elbow is level with your shoulder you're going to lift up do a gentle hip dip 10 times with your breathing and then extend the leg and lift 10, 9, 8. And my recommendation on all of these exercises 10 times. As I said, this is demonstration only and if you want to follow along, let me know. And then hold it there with your foot up and then overhead. Reach back center. 10 times and then trunk twist looking up to the ceiling as you twist up keeping your legs straight balance 10 times as well and after the elbow the progression is on your hands making sure your hand is leveled with your shoulder and up and lift 10 times feel your hip working hard and then hold it there to overhead reach with your breathing and then trunk twist 10 times as well and now let's switch it up on your elbow with your knee bent lift up to a hip dip 10 times with your breath work and now extend your leg hand overhead and lift 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 hold it there and overhead reach and my recommendation is overhead reach 10 times trunk twist feel the burn on your quads and now on your hand Plank with your knee bent, extend and lift 10 times as well. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold it there to overhead reach. And my recommendation is 10 times and strong twist in and then that's it. We're going to cool down now to a child pose to rest your wrists. And another beautiful stretch you can do is poppy pose, keeping your pelvis up and just extending your arm, lowering towards the mat and touching your chest on the mat. And you feel that on your thoracic spine. Inhale, exhale. And my recommendation is hold that for 30 seconds. Hold. And that's it. I demonstrated a lot of beautiful Pilates 
core and physical therapy fused together and how to strengthen your quadriceps, core and back muscles. If you're having back spasms after high impact sports activity, I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. Always remember, be safe, be well and healthy. You making sure you're not strengthening it and I have a lot of absolute beginners you can start first because this is my recommendation to my patients who are ready in the end of their program where I'm strengthening them improving your core strength of course if you have an acute back pain don't do this always remember see a doctor see a specialist before doing this program but if you're feeling well and you just want to keep your core strong and healthy and you don't want to exacerbate your back pain spasm that you experienced before then do this gentle and lovely isometric static hold exercises to strengthen your quadriceps core and back muscles if you have any questions about this video leave a comment down below and if you want a follow along video just let me know and i'll do another longer video this is just demonstration for you guys so you can do it in your quiet time if you're new subscribe to my channel ring the bell so you won't miss anything and if you want to be in my back master class program leave your name and email address click the link down below in the description box be part of my newsletter so you can be reminded if you want to join my back masterclass an online community where i can guide you safely and effectively with my zoom meeting calls and at least and a lot of videos to slowly progress always remember be safe be well and healthy you until my next video training bye